guys! Today I thought I would do a really quick Target haul for you. I went to Target specifically to look at e.l.f. products because I know that they have some new stuff and I'm looking to change up some of the makeup that I'm using as we move towards fall time. So I'm just going to show you what I got there. So I have the Cartwheel app for Target so I like to look at the coupons that are available to see if anything relates to what I'm getting. It's really cool. You can do a little scan of the barcode on a product and it'll actually look through the coupons and see if anything relates to that item. So that's really useful. Only one of the things that I bought today actually had a coupon, but it was a really good one. Um, I got more of these Real Techniques makeup sponges and I've never got a two-pack before, I think. How much was this? My receipt. This says that these makeup sponges were $10.99, but then I had a coupon for 25% off. So, and that was for Real Techniques brushes and sponges. So that was pretty cool. Um, I have one that I'm using currently. It's orange. I think it's a Real Techniques one. I don't think it's like an off-brand. I'm pretty sure it's one of these. And I've been using it for, I couldn't even tell you how long. And it's got black spots on it. Probably means it's molding. Should have thrown it away a long time ago. I keep cleaning it, but you can't clean it forever and expect it to be perfect. So I got these. Alright, so shortly after I made um, my favorites video talking about my e.l.f. eyebrow pencil, I went to use it and it broke. The, the last little chunk that I showed you, it just fell out. So I got another one of those and I got neutral brown again. I've been looking for an affordable foundation that will actually stay on. So I'm going to try this e.l.f. Beautifully Bare Foundation Serum. It, has a, it says it has goji berry in it. That's pretty cool. It has SPF 25. And this, isn't, this one doesn't say new, but it was hanging with the ones that said new on it. They had different packaging. Um, so I don't know if the formula is any different, but I've never tried any of the e.l.f. foundations, but people really love their stuff, so I'm gonna give it a try. And I got this in light medium. I also picked up a concealer by e.l.f. I was gonna get a lighter color in the NYX concealers that I love, the HD concealer, conce I, can't, I can't speak English today, the HD concealers. I made a video talking about the fact that I got a three and a half, which is new to our store. I or no, I didn't make a video about that. I got two new concealers. I got uh, another four and then I got a three and a half. The three is too pink for me. We've never had like in between shades before. So I got the three and a half. They're both like way too dark for me right now. So I was going to get a two, but our Target doesn't have the HD concealers, at least right now. So I got this HD lifting concealer in Fair by e.l.f. And I think this is going to be light enough for my skin. I mean, fair always sounds way, way too light for me, but we're going to try it out. I don't know if anyone else suffers from, like, forever gross lips, <laughs> but mine seem to be dry and just, like, weird textured all year round. So I went and picked up one of their lip exfoliators, and I got the Mint Maniac one. I almost got the, the cherry something one, but I figured I'd probably like the mint more. Um, I haven't tried this before. I haven't tried any of these e.l.f. products before. Oh, except for the eyebrow pencil. Um, let's see what's in it. Does it say? It's got lots of oils. I think it's basically, basically like a s lipstick shaped sugar scrub. But whenever I wear lipstick, it goes on sheer on like the out outer part of my lips because that's where it's smooth. But then like the inside half is, excuse me, wearing lipstick now, is like super dry and always peeling and like lumpy looking so then it gets stuck there and it just looks bad. So I'm hoping this will help. I'm gonna keep this in my purse and try it out and see if it actually works. I've seen people say that they really love it so we're gonna see. And last but not least, I decided to try one of their new skincare products. Which is nuts. I, I know that it's been around a little bit now, but I haven't really tried anything because I have a lot of skincare stuff that I've been trying to use up. 
but I don't currently have a scrub. So I got their exfoliating scrub. So it has vitamin E and purified water. Now, I typically use scrubs on the daily, usually in the morning, but this says one to two times per week, allowing a few days between applications. So I'm hoping that means that it's pretty intense because my skin needs some help. I actually um, am on the tail end of my Rodan and Fields face wash, which if you don't know what that is, you can look it up. I really love their stuff, but currently it's a little bit too expensive for me. I ran out of the like medicated stuff because I have the acne line. The medicated gel, it's like a two pump thing. They, they keep the, the ingredients separated until you mix it together to put it on your face. So that way it lasts longer. It doesn't like expire very fast. And I ran out out of the toner and their like moisturizer that has SPF in it, I believe. My skin really loved that. It cleared up so well and the longer it's been since I've run out of like pretty much everything, my skin has just gone, it's gone nuts. So I'm hoping that this will help. This is not acne specific, which is fine because that stuff bleaches out everything. And yeah, I'm excited to try this. Alright guys, that was everything in my Target haul, except for I did buy some crinkle cut french fries for dinner, but who cares? <laughs> um, if you have tried any of this stuff and you have good or bad comments on it, leave them in a comment below. I'm totally interested to know how you feel about it, because I feel like even after I read um, people's reviews and stuff online about products, I tend to not have similar experiences to the people that leave those reviews. So I'm interested to see how you felt about them and I'm very curious to know how people feel about the e.l.f. skincare line that's come out because it looks really nice and I have to say it's much more affordable than most things. Alright so if you like this video and you want to see more hauls you should give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know when I post new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!